this video, I'm going to cover grouping and also Z remeshing. I use grouping to help Z remesher create a good polygon flow. This will create a mesh that subdivides well and is easy to pose. There are three major loops that I like to create. Ones that go around the eyes, the mouth, and one that goes over the nose and under the mouth. I also make a few other groups that help with the Z remesher flow. First, we want to assign everything in this object to a single group. Just go ahead and press Ctrl W on your keyboard. With the standard brush, if you hold down Ctrl, you'll draw out the mask. We'll start with the center of the eye. After you've drawn out the region you want to mask, press Ctrl W on the keyboard. I'll do the same thing to the area beneath the eyelid. Next will be the eyelids. If you Ctrl Shift click on your main mesh, it will hide those other groups. Now I'll create a group that goes around both eyes like a mask. And then a group for the lips. Here is a trick for selecting the inside of the mouth. If I use auto groups, it will separate the inside of the mouth from my main mesh. Next I'll do the group that goes above the nose and below the mouth. I'll go ahead and include the nose. And now I'll do a separate group for the nose. And a group below the nose. Now the ear. and the neck. And now I'll create one more group in the back of the mouth. It's now time to use Z Remesher to create new geometry for our character. I've learned that Z Remesher does a good job creating loops around open holes. That's why I've created the extra group inside the eyes and the mouth. Control shift click the inside of the eyes and the inside of the mouth to hide them. Then, in your geometry palette, under Modify Topology, use Delete Hidden to delete that part of the mesh. In the Z Remesher menu, turn on Keep Groups and increase the polygon count just slightly. Now press the Z Remesher button. It'll take a few seconds for ZBrush to calculate this new mesh. Looking at this new mesh, I realize it's not quite perfect. There's a few errors around the nose. I'll smooth that area out just a little bit and hit Z Remesher again. There, that fixed it. I can now lower the poly count slightly and Z Remesher it again, and that will give me a really clean, low poly mesh. The nostril didn't work out quite right, so I'll go ahead and merge them into the nose group. I'll click Z Remesher one more time and I clean that area right up. I now want to close those open holes in my mesh. So I'll select the Z Modeler brush and hover over any edge and press spacebar. I will select Close and then under the target I'll choose Convex Holes and then Polygroups Flat in the bottom menu. Now click on the edge and that will fill the hole. And do the same thing in the mouth as well. And now we have completed our base mesh. Now I'm ready to start sculpting and add details to my character. I try to keep the brushes I use for sculpting simple. At first glance, the brush palette is quite daunting. I typically only use five brushes for most of my sculpting. The standard brush, the Ma Cut brush, which is similar to the damn standard brush, Inflate, Hard Polish, and the Smoothing Brush. Using these five brushes I can get most of the forms I need. There are plenty of other brushes I can use to texture, but it's important to get the major forms right. 